Five, four, three, two, one. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Community Foundation Spotlight here on PAC-14. Uh, my name is Doug Wilson. I'm the President and CEO of the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore. And with me today we have Denise Eberspeaker and she is the Director, I've got to get this all right now, she's Director of Development, Communications, and the Service Center for the Girl Scouts of the Chesapeake Bay. That's right. Welcome. <laughs> Thank it's great you. Great to see you again. Thanks so much. This is lovely having you here again and it's a great time because I have been as you know, or as you may know, you may not know, but I've lost over 70 pounds. I can tell, yes. <laughs> well, except when what comes around? Oh, the Girl Scouts. Because we have granddaughters, so we have, a, we have a case of Girl Scout cookies we're trying to give away. And, of course, you just can't mm. always do it effectively. So they end up in Doug's stomach, which is not a good thing. <laughs> but anyway, they're absolutely fabulous. We love them. The way we repackaged everything is just a great idea. So that's yeah, reduce the packaging, yes. trying to be a little bit more environmentally friendly. That's right. Added some um, information on the boxes about the gold award and mm. you know the different patches that the girls can earn to kind of do a little bit of education yes. piece along with those boxes. Yes. And uh, we are still accepting donations for our Operation Taste of Home. There you go. So if you'd like to purchase box of cookies we'll send it overseas mm -hmm. to um, our military that are stationed there right. and we also donate some of them to local agencies like the food banks the blood banks places like that who could use a little bit of an extra hand you sure can and I must tell you before we get into the questioning actually a little bit I noticed you brought some with you with these delicious Girl Scout cookies so if you see me salivating while we're talking <laughs> please excuse me and I apologize to our audience as well but even thinking about them, <laughs> All right, anyway, enough of this. Denise! Hi. <laughs> why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, kind of remind our viewers who may not have seen you last time you were here, but if you could just bring us up to date on your background mm -hmm. and how you get involved sure. with the Girl Scouts. Um, I've been with the Girl Scout organization for 19 years, oh. and I've moved up through, I started out as membership recruiting girls and adults, mm -hmm. and now I'm doing fundraising, uh, special events, also uh, communications for the lower portion of our council, and I also manage our local satellite office here in Salisbury. Okay, and you're loving it. I love it, yes. And you're also a member of the Rotary Club, Wacomico County am. Rotary Club with me. Yes, I am. See, I just had to get that in. <laughs> Otherwise, our president would probably get mad at me or something. I've been in that club for, I think, almost 15 years now. There you go. Yeah. Well, listen, tell me about the service area that you cover with the Girl Scouts of the Chesapeake and how long they, have they been in existence as a council? Okay. And tell a little bit about the structure, the organizational mm -hmm. structure of the Girl Scouts. Well, our national organization is Girl Scouts of the USA mm -hmm. and uh, they have been in existence for 102 years. We oh. just celebrated that on March the 12th. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Our programs have continued to develop leadership skills and we're always looking for new ways to improve our programs. Mm -hmm. um, our focus is right now our financial literacy and STEM and we also have a BFF program which is an anti-bullying program that we've been delivering in the middle schools. So we look at today's issues and we develop our programs based on what's going on in the communities. So a Girl Scout Council from one area or one geography to the other could really focus on different things depending upon what the needs are of the areas they serve. Definitely, yes. Well, that's um, good. We do get a lot of our materials from our national organization. Right. And they do a lot of the research, um, that's national research, to mm -hmm. let us know what the trends are and what mm -hmm. we should be focusing on. But we right. know here on the shore that financial literacy and STEM and bullying right. are the three things that we really need to focus on. Before we go on, some of our viewers may not know what STEM represents. Yes. It's an acronym for science, science technology, technology engineering, engineering, and, and math. math. Science, technology, engineering, and math, yes. right, which is a focal area for the United States as a whole, educationally, mm -hmm. I think, as well, to boost those skills. And we know that in middle school, girls tend to slack off in the STEM fields. Mm. Um, the competition that they have with the boys, boys start excelling in the sciences, Late and blooms. girls start kind of falling back. Um, so we have programs where girls can go in an all-girl environment mm -hmm. and it would, it's amazing the difference that you see when you put a girl in a group of just girls and you take the boys out of the situation, how much they excel. And their leadership really mm -hmm. shines through. Um, so those are some of the things that we're trying to do to encourage girls to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, wow. and math. That's fantastic. 
How many girls participate in Girl Scouts in our area? What are the ranges of ages? I mean, explain that to me. Right. Them. We serve um, all girls in grades kindergarten to 12th grade. Okay. We cover the entire Delmarva Peninsula, so the whole state of Delaware, the eastern shore of Maryland, and the eastern shore of Virginia. So what is a Delmarva Peninsula? Yes, Delmarva oh, okay. Peninsula right. um, is our council. Mm -hmm. That's the territory we serve. We serve 13,000 girls each year. Wow. And we have over 5,000 adult volunteers that assist us because okay. we couldn't do Girl Scouts without our volunteers. They are so important to us. All right. So when you uh, say you take girls from kindergarten first, you know, small, they're, what program are they in? Are they in brownies? No. Um, and kindergarten, they start out as a daisy. A daisy. That's, a daisy. that's what I was trying it's to think It's kindergarten and first grade, or daisies. Okay, daisies, yes. And then they move on up. To brownies. Brownies, juniors, cadets, seniors, and ambassadors. Oh, my. Ambassadors see, are 11th and 12th grade girls. See, that's lovely. I mean, it's just, uh, it's, it's changed since I've known Girl Scouts. And, of course, I grew up in a different country, so... We had Girl Scouts there as well, mm -hmm. but yes. it was a little bit different bit. So but this is absolutely lovely. All right, let me get back to my notes here. Are there any family camping opportunities this summer at your camps? Uh, well, we have a lot of camping opportunities. Um, this summer, we have over 50 resident and day camp programs. Mm -hmm. We have four camp properties on the Delmarva Peninsula. Uh, yes, three are in Maryland. One is in Delaware. Mm -hmm. um, at Sandy Pines, we have a week-long day camp. Sandy Pines is located in Fruitland, Maryland. Mm -hmm. So that's right here local. Right. Um, and their theme this year is Camp Bling. It's a Girl Scout thing. <laughs> camp Bling. Camp Bling. Uh -huh. um, and that is a five-day camp with Thursday night being an, an overnight at Camp Todd. Mm. So the girls are going to travel to our other camp. Cool. Um, camp Todd's located in Denton. And it's a beautiful camp. It's on Lake Williston. We own the lake. Oh um, so at that camp, we have an adventure wall, a zip line, canoeing, kayaking, swimming in the lake, um, hiking. It's just, it's a wonderful camp. Um, and we have day camps there this mm -hmm. year. And then we also have a resident camp. And their themes um, go for anything from... Mermastics Plastastic, which is a mermaid type theme, um, outdoor survival, Hogwarts, and Iron Chef. Oh boy! And uh, so all of the programs are age appropriate. Mm -hmm. We also have Grove Point, which is in Earlville, Maryland. Mm -hmm. It is on the Chesapeake Bay. Wow. Um, it has a swimming pool, lots of activities at that camp. Mm -hmm. That's our main resident camp program. Okay. Um, we have a full summer program there. Also have day camps mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So the girls have the option of just going for the day or okay. going for overnight for a whole week. Um, at that camp, we have outdoor adventures, dancing divas, Iron Chef. Um, we also have travel opportunities for the older girls okay. where they can do a Camp the Peninsula where they would visit all four of our camps during that week. We have a whitewater rafting trip for oh the girls to go on. Mm -hmm. um, so some adventure in there too. And then there's a mystery week, so I can't say where they're going because that's right. supposed to be a secret until they get there. Their parents have the agenda, but the girls won't know exactly where they're going. Um, so that's all fun for this summer. Mm -hmm. And then we also provide program A training and babysitting. That includes first aid and CPR mm -hmm. for our older girls yeah. so that they can go for a week and they can learn how to do babysitting and in a safe way and have that first aid so they're very confident about yeah. it. That's lovely, yeah. We Keep also going. have Country Center, which is in Hocass in Delaware. Okay. And that is where our STEM Lodge is. And ah. that camp is known for its hills and the STEM mm. programs. And mm. um, we have day camps there, and they range from Iron Chef, photography, home scientists, and girls can do anything. Lovely. So those are, you can find a full list of our camp opportunities on our website. Which is? www.gscb.org gscb.org and we have over 50 day and resident camp opportunities for the girls so it's really best to go online and, yeah. and you can choose the camp that fits your family's time frame and budget yeah because the camps vary in prices. Well, that's fantastic. It's, what a great time to be a Girl Scout. I yes. mean, all these camping opportunities and fun adventures. So much fun. What about family camps? Do you have anything like that? We do have some things that families can come to with their daughters. Um, we have a me and my gal camp at what? Um, me Camp Todd, me and my gal. Oh, me and my gal. So oh. your daughter would go, or your, your girl, or whatever, mm -hmm. um, with her mother or grandmother or guardian, mm -hmm. and they can do the camp together for a weekend. 
It's really fun opportunities for the girls to bond with their mother or grandmother or special aunt or, you know, whoever they want to take with them. We also have family camp, $50 per person for an entire weekend. Ooh. And it includes all your lodging, your food, and all the activities, which includes the zip line, canoeing, um, kayaking. Um, so it's a real fun weekend at Camp Todd. Mm -hmm. At Grove Point, we have a me and my gal camp. Right. So a girl can take her dad or her grandfather or, you know, a special, um, her guardian can go with her. And that was um, actually one of the favorite memories from my daughter and her father. They had gone to this camp several years ago, and mm -hmm. they still talk about it because he got to learn all the Girl Scout songs. So oh, yes. it's, it's great for a, a mm -hmm. dad or grandfather to go with their girl to camp for a weekend. Now, there's a zip line at both camps? We have a zip line at Camp Todd. Okay. And are men allowed at that camp? Yes. Oh, good. Of course. Because that would be the one thing I'd want to do. I love, just, I've seen zip lines all over the place. It looks like fun. It's fun. I'd love to do it. And we have all the uh, safety equipment, and everyone who runs oh, the yes. line is, very, is certified and have received all of the training. So we, we have very safe camps. Okay. Um, we have, ours are accredited, mm -hmm. um, and we have a nurse or a CPR. Most of our troop leaders and counselors are CPR and first aid trained, but we also have a nurse on mm -hmm. camp. Right. Um, and so if you have a daughter who needs medication, medication every day, we can do that. Um, mm -hmm. Our nurses are very prepared to do that. We do that every summer. There you go. Um, so don't hold that back. You know, don't yeah. hold back because your daughter yeah. might have a little bit of a special need. We, we are glad to accommodate them. So that's lovely. So it allows everyone to participate. Absolutely. So you've got the camps just for the girls. Yes. And then the camps for either their moms, grandmothers, mm -hmm. or uh, other female-related mm -hmm. family member, and the same for the men. Yes. So that's quite lovely. And then also the family, so that right. if you have the whole bit siblings, all their yeah. siblings can come out to camp, too, <laughs> for a weekend and have yes. some fun. Makes them very popular, I would bet, eh? Mm -hmm. A very um, mm -hmm. inexpensive vacation. Well, you talked about inexpensive. Why don't we talk yes. about finances? Um, are, they range anywhere from $50 for the family weekends. Mm -hmm. um, the week-long programs, the day camps average from about $135 to $170. And then our resident camps programs are around $300 mm -hmm. and a little bit more if you want to go on one of the adventure trips. Okay, got it. And we do provide financial assistance. Um, the first round of finances will be first right. so if you're if you need financial assistance send it in as soon as possible um, and we will try to get your daughter some assistance or mm -hmm. whatever girl you're sending to camp all right I'm just going to ask I don't know but I'm assuming if our viewers want to find out more information about the family camps and the other kinds of camping event they can go on your website yes everything is on that website the okay the full brochure is on our website okay. um, and our viewers can go right on there and they can see every camp that we have lovely Everything's in there. All right. I'm going to break for a second and welcome all of our viewers. If you didn't tune in earlier, this is the uh, Community Foundation Spotlight. And I'm here. I'm Doug Wilson, the president and CEO of the uh, Community Foundation. And with me is Denise Eber, speaker, uh, for, who is the director of development, communications, and the service centers for the Girl Scouts of the Chesapeake Bay. And we've been enjoying a great conversation. So, now you have all these camps and everything. Are there employment opportunities, do, do, yes. volunteer opportunities with Both. Girl Scouts? Both. Okay. Both. Um, for the summer camps, we do hire some international staff, mm -hmm. um, especially at our resident camp at Grove Point. Yeah. It's great for the girls to get to know um, college students from other countries. Yes. Um, it really opens their eyes to the world mm -hmm. around them. Um, and we also hire local individuals to run our camps. Uh, we have a few positions still available. They're all on our website. Okay. Um, we also like volunteers to come out and help at camp. Right. Uh, we do background checks on all of our volunteers and staff. You have to fill out the application. You have to take training. Mm -hmm. If you do volunteer at camp, um, the girl of your choice, your daughter, or whoever mm -hmm. you're sending granddaughter to camp will get a discount. Okay. Um, so that's kind of a little benefit for you to come out and help yes, us out this it's a summer. Carrot. Yes, that's right. Love and there's the, some other, um, like there's sibling discounts and some other things that uh, we provide. All right, and all of that's on your website, or they could simply call you. Mm -hmm. I would presume they can right? call our office. Four one zero. Four one zero seven four two five one zero seven. Five one zero seven. And right. we would be happy to talk to them about their uh, child's individual needs. Lovely, that's fantastic. 
listen, we, the Girl Scouts are a part and parcel of what, you know, the United States. It's an international thing, though. Yes. You know, they're all over the place, in Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts as well. And you do a great job uh, structuring the character and, 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 and exposing girls to all kinds of wonderful things. If there were one thing you could say that the Girl Scouts really is all about, what, what would it be? We are really about building leadership skills in girls. That's what we it is. want them to be uh, strong leaders. Mm -hmm. There's actually a new campaign out called Ban Bossy. Ban Bossy. People have seen it. Yeah. But um, it's through our Girl Scouts of GSUSA. Right. And it's a program because when a boy is young and he asserts himself, he's considered a leader. Mm -hmm. But often when a girl does that, she's called bossy. Mm hmm. Well, we want that to change. We want that term bossy to change. Disappear. We want to ban it. Right. We want girls to know that they can be assertive, they can be leaders. Right. Um, it's important that we have strong women leaders in our right. communities. Right. And so that's something that the organization as a whole is really working on right. to um, show girls everything that they can possibly do in their lives. Fantastic. Before we go, I just want to, to one more time, anybody who's interested in joining the Girl Scouts, anyone who's interested in finding about all of these, these camping opportunities or volunteer opportunities or employment opportunities, they can get a hold of you by going on your website again at www.gscb.org. Right. Or they or, can call us at 410-742-5107. We'd be glad to help them. And remember that you're, you're still taking contributions or donations for the overseas sending of, yes. Once more, for, just give that to what us. What we do is we have a program called Operation Taste of Home, and we taste collect home, right. boxes of cookies and we send them overseas to our military mm -hmm. to give them a little bit of taste of home. Yeah. And uh, we also donate those to some of the local um, nonprofits here: food mm -hmm. banks, blood banks, hospitals, right. to help them out. Also, right. Um, we Love also that. have a big event coming up. Well, let's hear about that. We have our Lower Shore Women of Distinction event coming up on April 25th. We are honoring. Jenny Malone, mm -hmm. which I think everyone in the community knows. Uh, she works for Caldwell Banker as a realtor. And we are so pleased to be able to honor Jenny. She does so much wonderful work in right. the community. Yeah. Um, and it's a pleasure to honor her. At Dove Point, right. tickets are $50 a person. And we still have some sponsorship opportunities available. There you go. Please join us. Contact you. Yes. My, love, my, my wife loves to go to that thing. I mean, she goes to it all the time. Every year she'll go. Mm -hmm. and, because she knows all the people that get honored, and it's just a great event, fun event, and they yes. all kind of get. And the nice thing is, is every one of our past honorees attends the event mm -hmm. um, and right. participate, right. and so we love that because Paula Morris was our honoree last year. She'll be presenting right. this year's Woman of Distinction with her award, right. and she's the honorary chair. So it just kind of keeps Work. going that way. Hopefully next year, Jenny would be our honorary chair, and yeah. they all stay involved. And it's you don't have to wonderful. be only a woman to go to it. Oh, of course not. We have a lot of men. Who a lot of men go. Event. I've a been. A lot of men. Yes. Great time. So it I would fun. encourage you to do it to support a great cause with the Girl yes. Scouts and to honor a great gal in our community, Jenny Malone. Thank you. Denise, anything else you want to add or say? or? I think this is. Thank you, you, you so it much. Thank you so much for allowing us to come on the show and promote Girl Scouts and it's our great. programs. Oh, well, I'm a scouter it. from way back. Oh, yeah. Not a Girl Scout. No, a Boy yeah. Scout. We loved having you here. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, I'm Doug Wilson on behalf of Denise Eber, speaker and myself and the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore. Uh, we encourage you to turn in again when, uh, for another edition of Community Foundation Spotlight and always continue to watch PAC-14, your community television station. Thanks. Be good. Would you like to see your community organization or nonprofit group featured on PAC-14? To get started, contact us at 410-677-5014 or visit our website at www.pac14.org. PAC-14 is a great way to connect with your community.